All right, welcome back to Sunrise. It's now time for Law and Order JA. So joining us this morning to give us counsel is partner at Don Cox Attorneys at Law, Jonathan Morgan. Good morning. Good to have welcome, you again. Jonathan. Good morning. Always right. great to have you. So we do have a question for you today, and this one I think everyone needs to pay keen attention, uh -huh, especially uh -huh. all the parents. So the question <laughs> is, I picked up my 13-year-old daughter from school on Friday and found bruises on her back and arms. I asked what happened, and she broke into tears in the back seat of the car, saying that the principal beat her at school for not doing homework. Are they allowed to beat our children like that in schools? I cannot afford to take her out in the middle of the term, so what can I do to stop this? Mm. All Jonathan. right. Hmm. This is Where a are we is. with corporal, corporal punishment, punishment and yeah. caning and all that kind of thing? The good old days. Uh, well, <sighs> corporal punishment in a general sense is still lawful in Jamaica. Uh -huh. uh, there are specific exceptions to that. Mm -hmm. There is uh, early childhood institutions. Those are schools that handle children under the age of six years old. Mm -hmm. They are prohibited from administering corporal punishment to their mm -hmm. students. Uh, I also know that corporal punishment is prohibited in residential uh, child care facilities. Mm -hmm. But if you are dealing with a student who is above six years old in mm -hmm. uh, an academic institution, Corporal punishment is allowed, mm -hmm. but must be done within a certain limit. Right. How so, is the limit? I saw the, the back and the arms. I, I, when I read that, I was like, back and arms? Are you allowed to? I don't. Tell but her. How is the limit determined? Because something like that would fall somewhere on a continuum of that, that's subjective to an individual. So, what I may perceive to be extreme mm -hmm. may not be perceived to be extreme by someone else. So. Yes. How do you determine the limit? So the law says that corporal punishment may be administered once it is moderate and reasonable. Mm. So those terms, again, are subjective yeah. terms, and people may grapple with what they mm -hmm. mean. Uh, but it tends to mean that the corporal punishment cannot be degrading. It cannot be excessive. Mm -hmm. It cannot be so intense as to cause any permanent or long-term damage to the student or to mm -hmm. the individual. It must be measured. It must be uh, commensurate with what they are trying to achieve, which is simply discipline and not physical harm. They're not a attempting to abuse the child. Mm -hmm. And what we, we find in the law is that there's a very clear threshold between what is known as corporal punishment and what is known as abuse or uh, physical harm to a child in mm -hmm. a way that goes to the immeasurable or mm -hmm. the uh, excessive mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. uh, that is certainly prohibited in law. I, I, I thought that it was supposed to be applied to the hands, for instance. Um, so, that, you know, you hold out your hand and, uh, or maybe to the, to the, the buttocks area. I, I, but definitely I thought it was limited to the hands. But m my question then is in terms of the Offenses Against the Person Act and the Child Care and Protection Act, when you are going to breach the epidermis or the dermis of the skin, and cause bruising. The, the, now aren't you getting into the realm of um, grievous bodily harm or uh, assault occasioning body, bodily harm? Yes, so the Offenses Against a Person Act tend not to arise in the context of corporal punishment mm -hmm. unless it gets to the level of uh, something truly excessive. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about uh, bleeding, breaking mm -hmm. the skin, things mm -hmm. of that nature. Yeah. Uh, bruising, however, in my opinion, certainly is evidence of abuse or cruelty. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if the corporal punishment leads to the infliction of black and blue marks and mm -hmm. bruising on the back and the arms, as our sunriser mentioned, mm -hmm. Uh, I certainly think it, it escalates under the Child Care and Protection Act to the level of abuse mm -hmm. and cruelty, which mm -hmm. is strictly prohibited. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if that is done at the academic institution or if it's done at the home or if it's done outside in public. It certainly is an offense under the act that mm -hmm. can have certain consequences. Mm -hmm. What would those consequences be and what would the next steps be to be taken by the person who sent in the question? Yes. So... Evidence of any abuse or cruelty in an academic institution can lead to a report being made at the uh, Children's Registry. This is a registry that's maintained by the Child Protection and Family Services Agency. The agency's corporate office coincidentally happens to be located at my firm's building at 48 Duke Street, Kingston. Mm -hmm. And the registry is off of Halfway Tree Road uh, in Kingston 10. 
So the, a report can be made at the National Children's Registry if there's any evidence of abuse or cruelty at school. Mm -hmm. And the consequences, if that report is established and the authorities investigate and find that it is in fact uh, correct, the consequences is that the person who inflicted that harm could be required to pay a fine or could be imprisoned for a certain period of time. Mm. And I can say uh, the consequence, of course, since it is penal in that nature, since it could lead to imprisonment, should be enough to deter this type of thing from recurring. Mm. The question then is the recourse or that, that parents have. What would you advise a parent as the, their course of action? Do they go straight to legal counsel and then bring legal counsel to the school? Do they go straight to legal counsel, bring legal counsel to the ministry? I mean, yes. yeah. So a, a parent who is uh, not in agreement with the corporal punishment being administered by the school mm -hmm. has to investigate whether it reaches the level of abuse or whether it is simply within the bounds of permitted corporal punishment. Yeah. So if it is moderate and reasonable, it is within the school's legal entitlement to administer mm -hmm. it. The law even says teachers have the right to instill discipline once it is moderate and reasonable. In that instance, the parent simply has to decide whether this is the right institution or not, based on their personal preference and their desires for their child. Mm. If they decide that it is not, they transitioning the student to another school may be necessary, mm -hmm. or, or speaking to the teachers and requesting that they refrain from administering corporal punishment may be necessary. Mm. On the other hand, if it amounts to the level of abuse and cruelty, they can go directly to the Child Protection and Family Services Agency to make that report. Mm. They can go into the registry and make the report in writing, setting out the details of what they think is abuse and cruelty to the child. I'm mm. sorry, you bruise my child, we're gonna have we're gonna have words. No, but because but, but bruising but, suggests, as you yeah. said, it's because yeah. okay, the skin is not broken and there's not a bleed above but skin, but bruising yeah. suggests that there is a bleed below the epidermis, which means that there is a bleed. I don't care mm -hmm. what you want, I don't care if the blood don't come out. It's gonna be a problem. Yeah. You you're a father. I am your child come home with a bruise. Oh, they, you're going to be like, hmm, be... that seems moderate <laughs> to me. Well, no, well, the, the starting point that uh, I hope I made clear earlier mm. was that abusing, in my opinion, reflects abuse. Mm. Right, and it is yeah. not right. simply moderate and reasonable corporal punishment. Right, mm. yeah. So if, if it, there is any infliction of something that's serious, mm. the teachers are going beyond what mm. is legally permitted. Exactly. I, I just find that, uh, again, I, I just assumed... I mean, coming from having been in the classroom, that it, the location is also Hands an important hands. factor. So when I yeah. was a child, we, mm. we, we were yeah. allowed to be spanked, and it was yeah. in your hands yeah. yes. with a ruler I mean, because, or a belt. Because, even, suppo because for argument's sake, lo again, location. Imagine being struck on your hand mm -hmm. and it hurt. Now imagine you, 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 your child come home and tell you, the teacher boxed me in my face, but it, but it never hurt. <laughs> oh, no? no, there was no bruising, there was no whatever, yes. it just, and, it, and, it, and it was nothing much. So it, would you say, I would prefer a heavier slap on the hand because of what the slap on the face means? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Or I got, I, got, uh, beget, uh, I got one lick in on my back with, 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 with the belt as mm -hmm. compared to... 10 lashes on my hand. Like, again, for me, location. So is lo location is really relevant. So mm -hmm. I agree yeah. because uh, different forms of infliction of corporal punishment mm -hmm. can be degrading. Mm -hmm. and they can exactly. Be exactly. Which hence my exactly. reaction to the face. That is my point. In addition to the mm -hmm. abuse point, yeah. another aspect of the prohibited administration of corporal punishment is cruelty. Right. Mm -hmm. if, it, if the administration of that punishment is cruel to the child because mm -hmm. it's done in front of the school, Right. Mm -hmm. And the child is made. Humiliation, yeah, the exactly. psychological yeah. factor. I was actually going to say to you, the, I understand that you said the penalty is a fine or imprisonment. There also needs to be, a part of the penalty needs to be you pay for the psychological, you uh, pay for the, the, the therapy session. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Interesting. Mm. And then I'll call you to defend me, Jonathan, because <laughs> we ain't going down like that. So the only <laughs> thing I think that's important to mention is mm. that while the law still has some of the traditional permits to corporal punishment that's moderate and reasonable above the age of six at school, the government has frowned on it. And yeah. the government has come out to say as a yes, policy yes, perspective, yeah. they yes. do not encourage yeah. corporal punishment mm -hmm. in the yes. schools at all. Yes. And they've indicated an intention to move the law in that direction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. true. Yeah. Especially if we're going to have dialogue around conflict resolution, there are other ways to solve issues without resorting to violence. Yes. Structured violence. Yeah.
Exactly. Yeah, lead. The All right. Yeah, just <laughs> kill nobody. <laughs> Our guest has been Jonathan Morgan, <laughs> partner at Duncock's Attorneys at Law. On the other side of the break, it's time for Sunrise Picnic Corner. We'll be right back. <laughs>